हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मैथ्स क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डू सम्स रिलेटेड टू चैप्टर पिक्टोग्राफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ चैप्टर पिक्टोग्राफ आर रीडिंग अ पिक्टोग्राफ एंड ड्राइंग अ पिक्टोग्राफ स्टूडेंट्स व्हाट इज पिक्टोग्राफ पिक्टोग्राफ मींस the representation of data through pictures is called a pictograph that means when we represent data with the help of pictures that is called a pictograph now let's understand it with the help of examples example number 1 the following pictograph shows the marks obtained by boys of class 4th students here one pictograph is given and in this pictograph in first column boys are given rahul suresh and rajesh in the second column marks obtained by these boys given students you can see here triangle is used as a picture now what is the meaning of one triangle one triangle represents 10 marks now that means rahul has 1 2 3 and 4 that means 4 multiplied by 10 is 40 marks rahul obtained 40 marks in the same way Suresh obtained one and two. That means two tens are twenty marks. And Rajesh obtained one, two, and three. That means three tens are thirty marks. Rahul obtained forty marks. Suresh obtained twenty marks. And Rajesh obtained thirty marks. now students using the above pictograph answer the following questions question number 1 which student obtained the highest marks now students see which is the highest marks 40 20 or 30 which is highest yes 40 is highest and which student obtained highest marks that is rahul so answer is rahul question number 2 which student obtained the least marks now students again compare the numbers see 40 20 And thirty, and which is the least number? Yes, that is twenty. And who obtained twenty marks? Suresh. That means Suresh obtained least marks. So answer is Suresh. Question number three: How many marks did Suresh get? now students how many marks did suresh get suresh get 20 marks so answer is 20 so students in this example we have learnt how to read a pictograph now let's understand how to draw a pictograph with the help of examples draw a pictograph to show the number of kites sold by a shopkeeper days monday tuesday wednesday thursday and kite sold that means on monday 25 kites were sold on tuesday 
15 kites were sold. On Wednesday, 5 kites were sold. And on Thursday, 10 kites were sold. Now students, as I have told you, the pictograph meaning, it is the representation of data with the help of pictures. Now, we will represent this data with the help of pictures. Students, here I have written 25. That means I will draw 25 pictures. And if in place of 25, 50 is given, then I will draw 50 pictures. It will be very time consuming. So, to remove this problem, our first step is take key. Key meaning we will see that table on which all these numbers come. For example, here numbers are 25, 15, 5 and 10. And all the numbers are divisible by 5. Or you can say all the numbers are coming on table of 5. So we will take 5 as a key. Now I have taken key. Now I need one more thing that is picture. Now kite is given. Let's take kite. That means one kite represents five kites sold. Students, for drawing of bar graph, our first step is draw three columns. Now, in the first column, I will write days. Days are given. So, write down in the first column, days. In the second column, kites sold. In the third column, pictures. And pictures will be kite. Now, in the days column, first of all, we will write all the days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, on Monday, how many kites were sold? 25. So, what was the key? Key was 5. So, we will divide 25 by 5. On 5 table, 25 comes on 5. 5, 5 is a 25. Now, 2 minus 5 minus 5 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. That means remainder is 0. So, how many kites I will draw? 5 kites. 5 is the quotient. That means I will draw 5 kites. Now, what is the next number? Next number is 15. So, we will divide 15 by key. And what is the key? Key is 5. So, divide 15 by 5. On 5 table, 15 comes on 3. 5, 3 is a 15. Now, 2 minus 15 minus 15 is 0. Remainder is 0. That means how many kites I will draw? 3 kites because quotient is 3. So, draw 3 kites. See, what is the next number? Next number is 5. So, we will divide this 5 by the key that is 5. On 5 table, 5 comes on 1. 5 ones are 5. Again, 5 minus 5 is 0. Remainder 0. That means quotient is 1. So, how many kites I will draw? 1 kite. Now, see what is the last number? Last number is 10. So, we will divide 10 by the key. On 5 table, 10 comes on 2. 5 twos are 10. 0 minus 0, 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. That means remainder 0. How many kites I will draw? Yes, 2 kites because quotient is 2. So, students, in this way, we can draw a pictograph. Let's take one more example. 
एग्जाम्पल नंबर टू ड्रॉ अ पिक्टोग्राफ फॉर द फॉलोइंग डेटा नाउ स्टूडेंट्स डेटा इज गिवेन सेक्शन ए बी सी एंड डी एंड इन सेक्शन ए बॉयज आर एटीन इन सेक्शन बी बॉयज आर नाइन इन सेक्शन सी बॉयज आर सिक्स एंड इन सेक्शन डी देर आर ट्वेल्व बॉयज सो दिस इज द इंफॉर्मेशन गिवेन नाउ वट इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप फर्स्ट स्टेप इज चूज की नाउ सी ऑन विच टेबल ऑल दीज नंबर्स कम येस दैट इज थ्री टेबल नाउ की सिलेक्टेड नाउ वट इज द सेकेंड स्टेप सेकेंड स्टेप इज choose picture now students i have choose the smiley face one smiley face represents three boys so next step is make three columns in the first column i will write down section and in second column i will write down boys and in third column i will write down pictures now first of all section a and in section a how many boys are there 18 that means we will divide this 18 by the key that is 3 so when we will divide 18 by 3 you'll get 6 as a quotient because on three table 18 comes on 6 3 sixes are 18 18 minus 18 0 That means how many smiley face I have to draw? Six because six is the question. So I will draw one, two, three, four, five, and six smileys. Now, section B, and in section B, how many boys are there? Nine boys. That means we will divide this nine by three. That is the key. So. Divide nine by three. On three table, nine comes on three. Three threes are nine. Nine minus nine, zero. That means how many smileys I will draw? Three. One, two, and three. In section C, there are six boys. That means we will divide six by three. So. Divide six by three. On three table, six comes on two. Three twos are six. Six minus six is zero. So what is quotient? Quotient is two. That means we will draw two smileys. Now, how many boys are there in section D? Twelve boys. That means we will divide this twelve by three. So Let's divide. On three table, twelve comes on four. Three fours are twelve. Two minus two zero. One minus one zero. That means four is the question. So how many smileys I will draw? Four. One, two, three, and four. So students, today we have learned. the reading of pictograph and how to draw a pictograph i hope now you are able to do the related homework that we have sent to you in your snap homework but students before starting the homework please go through the youtube links that are mentioned in your snap homework have a nice day thank you